Our coverage of this final hour of voting in Florida continues with a look at the team of investigators whose mission is to make sure everyone who's entitled to vote can vote. They're also looking for any voting issues in Miami-Dade. And today, CBS 4's Peter Dench spoke with the state attorney about her special task force. Strong words from Miami-Dade state attorney Catherine Fernandez-Rundle before she votes. No matter how people are going to vote, voting, particularly at this time, is one of the most important civic duties and privileges we have as citizens of the United States. Which is why Emiliano Tamayo and other members of the state attorney's election response task force are observing voting at dozens of precincts, including the one at the Miami Science Museum. We're looking for everything and anything that uh, keeps people from exercising their constitutional rights. The most important thing is for people to have confidence in the voting system. Our election process is very secure. A map shows areas that team members go to. One of these teams that are going, wandering around the community, being available to immediately respond to ascertain if there's anything that's suspicious or inappropriately mm -hmm. occurring. It's definitely good to um, give people an outlet to in a way to express issues if there are issues. So far, a hotline has generated mostly informational questions and few complaints. Since Florida had such a great early voting turnout, I'm not sure that we're going to have uh, as many problems as maybe some other states. The voter complaint hotline in Miami-Dade is 305-547-3300. Remember, you can even cast your ballot at the closing of the polls as long as you're in line. Get assistance in writing and also receive up to two replacement ballots if you make a mistake. In Miami, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.